Hello everyone, Crydox here, and welcome back to our Factorio Space Age playthrough. In our last episode, we got science shipped back to Nalvis, which felt pretty good. So now we've got some of our basic, uh, what is this called? Metallurgic science pack research is done. And now we need to decide which ones we want to do of the more expensive variety. Um, we could do artillery. It's not particularly necessary yet. I'm defending the walls just fine, but you know, setting up artillery by the walls is kind of nice to keep biters from being too close. Uh, but I certainly don't need it. I could get low density structure productivity. That seems like a no brainer. That's a pretty huge boost for a one time research. And then I can also do this one. What's weird is this only has an impact on Fulgora, and I don't really need it yet. Um, so that being said, I don't think I'm going to do it. Definitely will research speed threes. And yeah, why don't we just finish out some of these non infinite researches so we can check them off the list. <laughs> you accidentally built on coal. Yeah, it really is crazy. Like when you're looking here, you're like, wait, there's coal on the screen. And yes, there sure is coal on the screen. Um, all right. One thing I want to do is replace my tungsten miners with these improved big drills. Because these have a much, much lower resource drain. Than the regulars. So that will help this tungsten last even longer. Or we have issues. Gosh, I love the radius on these things. It's nuts. Absolutely nuts. Oh, I do need one. Okay. I think that's everything. Wait. These need to be in common. Okay. I think we have all uncommons now, right? No, there's still three normals? Where are they? Ah, these are normals. Okay. I'm gonna need like two more. Should get built automatically. We do have RoboPort coverage all the way down there. So, anyway, in this episode, our goal is to rebuild this whole foundry mess um, to actually be better. Because right now it's kind of trash. So... Yeah, I'm, I mean, we've got lava anywhere around here, so the lava is not a problem. I'm thinking we set up something where we produce molten iron on one side and molten copper on the other. It will be really nice once we can landfill the lava. Because then you could have like a thin strip of lava that you leave alone to, to trash stuff, trash all the stone in. But for now, we're going to have to output the stone kind of, you know, on a bunch of different belts with inserters, because these things are going to, what am I trying to say? They're going to basically have, you know, 10 billion stone coming out of them. Um, that's the wrong recipe. So the lava based one, we have the lava and calcite in. So what I'm thinking is we do that all on one side like this. And then that leaves room for beacons in the middle. Like so. And then we basically just uh, reflect this with V. Boom. And now we've got copper ones. So there's all the molten copper. I don't know if the rates are going to need to be equal or not, so we'll find out. Um, this is another weird place where, like, medium poles actually might be useful. Because 
you, there's really no room for substations here. Because even if I use underground belts, there's not a 2x2 two two anywhere. So, just do that. Ugh. I should uh, get uncommon medium power pulls going. That That's where the uncommon difference is pretty huge. Right, an uncommon substation is a much smaller, much smaller difference. Uh, we could turn the stone into landfill for compressing it. Yes, that is true. But I'm this close to lava, so that doesn't feel. I mean, I would, I could direct insert into assemblers if I was doing it that way. But then that makes the build a lot bigger. I don't know if I want to do that. All right, so there's all our molten's. This is extensible that way as much as we need to. Part of me says I should do prod. <laughs> and that part of me is dumb because the only thing this really costs me is what? Five calcite a second. So really, I should be doing efficiency. Save myself three megawatts per building. So there's an extra 30. I just made 30 megawatts of power generation by doing it that way. Um, so that's crazy. And then the output is, yeah, about nine a second. So, so something like, and that's, yeah. We'll have two inserters for each. And this one will end up being a second belt. These will both go to the lava. And then we'll copy that in some form or fashion here. Bring this around and down. Now, how many inserters do we need for a full blue belt? I don't really know. I assume three is probably enough, but I might need four. We'll leave room for four. Okay, uh, and then this guy, this one won't be very full, as it is. Easy. Okay. Um, lava per second, we're talking like 1250? Plus 1250. I actually need a decent amount. Um, these pump at 1200, so three should be good. And I don't think the individual rates are going to be problematic, so I don't have to worry about the new fluid system being too slow. So that should do it. It is nice to not have to worry about flow rates like we used to. And then, yeah, we're just going to need calcite on a belt coming in here from up here, which we've got going right there. And that should be lots of molten iron and copper. And we can expand it if needed. Perfect. Almost a thousand a second, it looks like. Maybe even a thousand a second. Now, what is going on there? 
Interesting. Interesting choice those bots made. Um, not really an easy fix to that, so I'm just going to ignore it. <laughs> but, you know, what can you do? Not make, not make convex bot networks? Come on. Convex or go home, right? Okay, so now we've got crap loads of of that. So now we need to think about what are we making. So we need a lot of gears for blue belts and red belts. It's possible I should Hmm. I have an idea. If I shift this up by one, and we fit a belt of gears in between them, and then I don't have to ship in gears at all via uh, bots and that will save an absurd amount of bot work um i will have to move the outputs of these onto the other side there why I'm copying a provider chest that doesn't have any settings. Um, but yeah, this should work. So that way we've got gears kind of already figured out. So we'll do gear casting for that. <laughs> you you spent 10 hours doing a make anything machine. That's awesome. I'm excited to try something something like that out eventually. Okay, let's try Oh, that doesn't even power anything up. How about that? Okay. Let's try some gears. Oh, I can make these in the foundry. Oh, that's so nice. I didn't realize I could make these in the foundries themselves. So that'll be nice and productive. Okay. Um, but yeah, we just want to cast gears here. Six per second. I think four plus beacons should be enough. See about that. I also uh, will pretty soon improve my module production. Once I have proper circuit production, I'll go for making modules tier two and everything. And then we should have a lot more. Okay, that's pretty close to a full blue belt. Um. Look at that. There we go. So there's a crap ton of gears to get the blue belts that we need. And then we need, what, plates and cable to make a bunch of green circuits. So... Also, let's not forget. Am I making efficiency modules? Hold on. I think I did. Did I not? 
Uh, it looks like I actually did not. Let's grab our EMP basic mall here. Those going. And we at least have efficiency ones. And you're gonna be plates. enough of those for a full belt eventually. For now I can deconstruct all this and I'm gonna route over the molten copper. I haven't quite replaced all of this yet. So we'll keep that running. On this molten copper. And then here's iron. Uh, medium power poles. Looks like we're fresh out. What's the problem? Oh, problem is we never connected it. Okay, so iron. Copper cable's weird since I don't have stacking. We're gonna need. Mm. Yeah, but that requires work to set up, Spiplet. I don't need more speed on these yet. These ones I might actually do speed on, but... Okay. I'm trying to think... Let's... I don't need that anymore. Where do we want to put circuits? I want a nice, compact circuits build. So we need cable. This is hard because it's like, it really depends on how you're beaconing and what modules you're using and what quality of modules you're using. So I feel like the build's gonna change, but I'm curious if we need to feed an electromagnetic plant directly. Like if we're beaconing both, you just need so, I mean, look, the numbers work out at least without any beaconing the amount of cable we get is exactly the amount of cable we need. So that leads me to think it's close enough. And obviously a beacon will change some things, but it's at least close enough. So then I'm thinking we feed with multiple long inserters. M maybe. And then that lets us put the iron through the middle to do something like that. Um, and then that gets us piles of green circuits. And then we can put beacons on both sides. Now, do we want prod for this? I don't even know. Let's let's start with some beaconing here. And see what happens. 
I really need to automate speed twos, because these are going to be speed twos pretty soon. Um, so what does that bring us to? Begin with needing medium power poles. Why don't I automate these? I can stop <laughs> running out. Uh, it only takes a couple clicks here. Click, 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 done. All right, medium pull's done. Assuming I have the ingredients. And we're not doing bulk inserters, oh no. Oops. That's no recipe, okay. That's no moon. We need that guy, we need this guy, we need this guy. And we need the long inserters. And we need power. I gotta say, that is a pretty nice blueprint. It's very nice to have. Okay, so now what are the rates once things are powered up? We're looking at needing 23, and I'm feeding in 26. That's actually pretty close. Uh, problem being, there's no way in heck that these are gonna move 26 a second. So, I'm going to need like this. Hey, Matt Odin, how did I get the parameterized mall to put the recipe ingredients in the requester chest? Yeah, so I'll probably put out a separate video on this in the next few days um, because I think it's pretty handy and most people want something like this. But basically what you do is you set, you set your requester chest to request like six different things and request one of one thing, two of another, three of another, so that all the numbers are different. If the if the numbers are the same, they're all gonna get lumped into one category. So you need to have different numbers of six different things, and then you end up setting the assembler to the parameter zero, and then you set all the other things that you put in the requester chest to be the ingredient of parameter zero. And then you can set the formula to whatever you want, in this case, I did the smaller of either 60 seconds of production or uh, the stack size so that it never requests more than a stack of one individual thing. So you're not requesting like 600 iron gears. I do think I actually need to change this now that my buildings are getting faster and faster and I'm beaconing more of them. I think I need to go to two minutes of production or two stacks because sometimes that's not enough, but it does work pretty nicely. Uh, yeah, this is gonna be a lot of green circuits, so I like... I like it. Uh, unfortunately, that is in the way. Yeah, achievements are not something I am interested in. For a long time, at least. I may do them someday, but I have no desire right now. <laughs> There's a lot of achievements, and some of them are really stupid hard to get. Okay, so there's a belt of green circuits. And then red circuits require more cable, but not as much. So what I might do... I can put this anywhere. This is requested plastic, so this low density structure can be moved. And I will move it. Alright. Uh, wow, that's a lot of cable. Oh boy. I've made some logistics bots very unhappy. Oh, also we ran into an inserter issue here where I didn't have enough to start the process of making more. That should fix that problem. Uh, Duelec, Duelock, that, it's not ratioed, it's ratioed by time crafting. 
So it is ratioed properly unless the 60 seconds of crafting that item is more than a stack. Then it will only request one stack. So, but it is ratioed properly otherwise. Um, so that's nice. I can also move this tungsten belt anytime. I can move it anytime I want, he says. Uh, so I'm thinking red circuits can just go maybe over here nearby, but not totally in the way. And yeah, we'll have the belt of greens. And I guess we'll need two belts of tables. And then a belt of plastic. And then I have no room for beacons. So... I need to figure out... A, oh, and the outputs. Is this... Is this the time where we start spacing them out? It feels weird, but maybe we should try it. See you later, SMO. Enjoy the store and the movie and everything else. Um, yeah, this feels super weird, but maybe maybe we space them out more. Because I think the benefit of the beacons is going to be more than the benefit of having them not spaced out. You know, because I can do something like this and grab like that. And we could even put a beacon in, in between them. And then that gets us a whole new belt. Alright. Ooh, we got damaged even with having reinforced lasers. Interesting, interesting. Guess we need more lasers. Um... How do we do this? Maybe I ignore the beacon in the middle and then we can have all the belts just right here. Yeah, that seems like the way to do it. Um, and then we can just have two full rows of beacons on the outside. And they're less efficient than normal beacons, because they're not affecting as many buildings each, but... I mean, what's the cost of a beacon? Ten dollars? It's a banana, Michael. What could it cost? Alright, so... Speed modules... I think I will prod these guys up, because that's going to make a bigger difference. So then we need a couple belts of cable, which is only going to be like four more of these. And this is now annoying. There it is. Let's move it over. Okay, so then let's put the cable on this end because it makes use of the bacons. And then... Something like this. Yeah, artillery is no longer something you can get on Navis, which... I don't know. I Yeah, I don't know how I feel about the amount of research they've locked behind different planets. At the same time, I kind of like it. 
But there's part of me that's like, oh man, you gotta really do work to even get artillery now. Even with all those beacons, still not going very fast. I wish I had some uncommon electromagnetic plants. That would make a big difference here. That would really help. I didn't bring any. I think I have some on Fulgora. Um, maybe I should go get them. Yeah, let's go do that. Do we have any? 18,000 uncommon copper cable. Dear God. Uh, I have 15 uncommons. And it looks like I'm not getting any more because I'm not doing quality plates anymore. Um... Easiest way to do this. I could. I'm trying to be simple here. Actually, let's do rares. Um, we could recycle. I have like more than 4,000 holmium plates of the normal variety. Then we could work on upgrading some into whatever quality we get there. And that'll get us some uncommon plates. And then that'll help with getting some uncommon EMPs. I also should put quality into... this guy. I don't really know why I didn't do that before. That's kind of free. But, alright. So, the Hendrickson is almost there. We'll get those uncommons. Copper needs to pass through here. There's a lot of green chips. World goes that way. Nice. Noise. Oh, you know what I'm not doing is making sure we at least have some amount of stone provided. We'll just do that. And then the gears also need to be provided to various things. Just let that fill up. Plates, I feel like I should have just a separate plates that the bots want. Do that. 
Seven a second is probably going to be enough. I guess I don't know for sure. Um, and our research is... Oh, I thought it made the little I'm done sound. I'm wanting to get all the non-infinites done. But some of them are kind of expensive. Okay, so these are good. Come up and around. And then finally we need plastic. Which... Something like this. Plastic. I don't know, 600 a piece. Should be plenty. And there we go, red circuits. And what do I need to do with them? All kinds of things, but probably mostly robot stuff. At least for tier one modules, I might stuff on a belt. I don't know. But yeah, we, uh, we're definitely out of power. So let's go kill the worm for this area so we have more room for power generation. Where is the worm? Where the wormy at? Where's my tank at? Down there, I left it. I left it. We need you. We got plenty of, <laughs> it only took eight shots to kill the worm. So we should be good on that. Um, just find our opponent and melt it in about two seconds. By the way, this was after the video. Uh, we did attempt building a few things down here because I was curious what exactly a worm does when it gets mad. It did, when it was patrolling, it did eventually see the buildings we had built just over the edge and it got mad and it focused on destroying the things around the edge it had to turn around, so there was some collateral, but it stopped. It like didn't go to kill other things. So as long as you don't have other military buildings that are shooting the worm or something, you're not gonna accidentally lose your whole base. I assume it would have chased me as well, pretty far. But I wasn't close enough for it to get mad at me. Oh, there it is. There you are, Mr. Wormy. All right. Fuel, cannon shells, and there goes 30,000 health. I mean, it did do some damage pretty quick there. Not having any shields would have been bad, but five shields seems to be, seems to be plenty. Yay, we win. Um... So now I have more room for a little solar blueprint here. I don't actually know. I have yet to make a proper solar blueprint. Because this one, I think is too, yeah, the, it's too big for the logistics networks to connect. But if I overlap them a little bit like that, it works. probably design it from from fresh we already have one somewhere right no haven't even designed this once yet 
Interesting. <laughs> this is just... <laughs> it's so messy. <laughs> but you know what? If it works, it works, right? As long as I'm adding panels and uh, accumulators to the network, does it really matter? Let's just make all the OCD people really mad today. I think that's that's always fun. Got a nice little gap right there. Yeah, we'll just we'll just anger the the OCD gods. Call it a day. All right, and I need more construction bots. <laughs> I've spent more red science packs than you will ever make. I wonder if that's true. That, that might be true. Um, how many have you spent already? We've spent only 72,000, so yeah, you're probably gonna spend a lot more. Yep, you already you've already got triple the red packs we've ever spent. And I mean we'll spend a lot more in the future, but yeah, not that many. Alright, now for other power, we could focus on sulfuric acid. For that, I would want this patch. This patch over here would make an absurd amount of sulfuric. And then I could use a lot more of those heat. Uh, or the steam turbines. That solar setup deserves the unfollow button. No! Don't do that. Make sure to like and subscribe because of that solar uh, build I just did. <laughs> oh, man. All right, get green circuits from that. Okay, so now I think get rid of that. And I'm going to get tier ones of each type off of this and this. Or something. Um, seems acceptable. And we can always pump up the rates a little bit if we need to, but those are already pretty absurd rates. And they each need about one and a half reds. We're not even making that many. So we definitely need to make more reds here. It is funny with the new building sizes, you have to, you can only tile three at a time. Like if I tiled three buildings worth, then the, uh, whatchamacallits are actually gonna line up, the beacons, but otherwise it doesn't these are three wide and that's four wide and it takes three cycles for that to line up again. Uh, do you think they will add fluid tanker rockets like we got fluid tank train wagons? <laughs> um, I mean, we have barreling, so I think they just expect you to barrel fluids if that's what you're wanting to do. I think that's their expectation. Okay, now, blue, blue chips. Um, probably should be belted, but maybe I'm fine with just using bots. Probably put those right here. We can get sulfuric over here somehow. Of course, it's not even close. There's no sulfuric nearby. Um, I 
We will need to pipeline some sulfuric. <laughs> you like the idea of a fluid rocket spilling like the gosh that would be crazy if that mechanic was in the game somehow and like the rocket crashes and it spills an entire ocean of you know molten iron or lube or whatever i mean imagine a lube ocean on your on your planet how, how would you feel creates tons of pollution <laughs> just send an entire rocket full of lava to spill over Gleba I guess that's a solution isn't it um... all right and then what we're gonna do here is we're just gonna set you guys run if blue circuits less than a thousand let's go two thousand I mean even three thousand is not that many okay. now the problem here is gonna be yeah the green circuits are nowhere near fast enough so we're gonna need probably a second belt of green circuits which I can't landfill over lava, which means we're probably gonna need to like copy this down there or something. seems iffy. <laughs> I was certainly iffy right now. Um, is it worth just focusing on the sulfuric version of power? What do we need again for that? Uh, steam. No, where, where's the actual recipe? Oh, it doesn't call itself steam? That's annoying. Is it called sulfuric something? Acid neutralization. If you search for steam, it doesn't show up. Okay. Uh, so we just need a little bit of calcite for that. And then a bunch of sulfuric. And then, yeah, maybe we should just do that. Um, okay, so what I'm not doing is making copper plates anywhere, so we need to remedy that. For the network. Because we're going to need those for the, the turbines. Yes, it is the 500 degree steam, which is, which is great. Oh, you can type 3K into the thing. That's nice. Red circuits are so slow. Kind of crazy. Actually, actually nutty. Um, all right, so let's keep this train rolling. Is there a chance I can get through here? There sure is. And then we don't have this dumb belt in our way. Then I can keep expanding. All right, now what's your problem, Nelvis? This corner. All right, this seems easy enough to just put a little chunk of turrets here with the substation. Call that a day. Um. All right, so. I don't 
don't know if that's that's all right, but close enough. And hopefully that's enough red chips. And then once we have module twos, that will that will speed things up quite a bit. Now the issue is going to be power. So let's handle power. Let's. Did we leave the tank over there again, or did I pick it up? I think I picked it up. I have the ammo. I have three tanks. Wouldn't even matter if I'd left one of the tanks. So now we're gonna go unlock intense amounts of sulfuric acid over here. Like absolutely brain melting amounts. 33,000 combined yield. Um, I also need more pump jacks. Automate that. Now, what's the current problem on solar panels? Oh, these are just slow. It seems. And this is not delivering enough. Yeah, they're just slow. Okay. Uh, anyway, where's the worm? Up here? Biggest wormus? Or like little littlest wormus? Um. Oh, I, w I would like the one with the shields. be helpful. Come here, boy. Alright, easy. <laughs> it almost feels like I'm cheating. It's so, so easy to, to take him out with those uranium rounds. Feel, I feel a little bad for the worms. Feel a little, little sorry for them. Okay, so this is gonna be kind of an absurd amount of sulfuric. And I'm just gonna take the easy road. most things with regulars instead of undergrounds. Bing. Boom. Alright. Power. Power. Power, power, power. Okay. And then we also want to establish a mall for the steam turbines. Don't hit Q. If you hit Q, it cancels. You gotta hit E to confirm. And then Q to drop the blueprint. Will we need two of these? Nope, they have a three second crafting time. Just wait for the bigger worms. I think we'll be fine with the bigger worms too. I'd be surprised if this strategy doesn't work. To be honest. Oh! Is that. One of the bigger ones? Or is that just the radar doing weird things? Or is the worm actually that long? <laughs> I doubt the worm is actually that long. Right? Yeah, I think it was just the... It is a big boy. There's a medium one. He has, ooh, even more health. A hundred thousand. So he's triple the health. But I think that strategy will still work. Um... But he definitely is a, a chunkier, chunkier boy. Gosh, my poor novice science is such a joke. Just limping along at 70, 75 a minute. Um, I probably should at least do Gleba Discovery 
And then at that point, we're down to artillery, atomic, rail support foundations, and everything else is infinite. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Oh yeah, traversing the mech suit, I, I, it's not lost on me how much the mech suit is helping me. It really, like, it makes getting around so easy. Between the lava and the cliffs and the rocks, which are also everywhere. Um, maybe Fulgora first is the truth. Maybe it's the truth. All right, I need you to deliver to me pump jacks. And I also would like large amounts of steam turbines. I also should do that. Eh. You never made the mech suit in your playthrough? What is wrong with you? Oh my goodness. That's gotta be some sort of crime. <laughs> gotta be. <laughs> You're trying to get a legendary and then you just beat the game instead. Yeah, that's fair. Alright, so... This part done. Can't forget about you. And then it would be kind of cool if there was a calcite patch nearby, but there really isn't. Um, let's think. How much calcite are we talking? If I were to just fly it out here with bots. Is that going to be significant or insignificant? So let's say we were going to do some acid neutralization and I wanted to use some speed modules in those. That's going to be it. We're talking one per second. That is insignificant. All right. Insignificante. We'll just do that, and then this will be playground for our <laughs> You couldn't resist looking at how big the big demolishers were. Yeah, I uh, I'm anticipating a little bit of fear in the boots despite me being able to destroy Basically destroy them with ease. I imagine it will still be a big, a big worm, to say the least. All right. Request calcite. Um, I do need to put calcite in a chest. I don't think I'm doing that. Do that over here. So that should get us all the calcite we need. And now the goal is just absurd amounts of steam turbines. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's do a row of ten. And then. Basically two substations for that, and then a chunk of ten, and then two more chunks of ten, and then two more substations here, and go between. Oh, 
Okay. Now, what is this? What is going on here? Oh, we were waiting for cliff explosives. I see. I need to request cliff explosives so that we don't have to wait for it if we've got our personal bots doing work. Uh, where do they show up? There they are. I could just mine asteroids and send it down. I could. I've heard that it's not the best for UPS is actually a problem. Like if you're if you're actually using like a ton of space platforms for mining, that's actually kind of bad. Um, which I think is interesting. Okay, so is this enough? We're talking 9,000 a second in? Yeah, that should be enough. 10 of these is only 600, so that's 2,400 out. Yeah, we're good. All right, so that should help a significant amount. And then what we'll do is we'll copy this and we'll do it again. Like that. I mean, I guess I should just copy this whole little chunk. Like so, and just to be really thorough, And then we just connect one little thing on the end here. And that should do it. Uh, and then we need bot connections the whole way. Make sure those are there. And there you go. Those will get built over time. Just need 46 more. And I'm hoping that's enough power. Um, what's 40 times... Yeah, that'll be 120 times about 6 megawatts. That'll be about 720 megawatts. And that's not counting any of my solar. Yeah, that should be enough. That should be enough. Yeah, see, we're not even touching our accumulator charge. Cool. Okay. I feel good about power. And now that I feel good about power... Now we can think about more green chips. Um, so let's copy this build. I'm also wondering, what if we... No, we need the iron to be a separate thing. Okay, I'm gonna build this down here. Um... And then... This is the nice thing about having construction bots and whatnot. You can kind of just do whatever you want. Um, iron belt comes up here. Does that. And we just need the iron pipe. We can't go over lava, though. That is the bummer. So until we get the super landfill, what do they call it? Foundations. Uh, we can't actually go around. I do like that. I like that touch that they didn't let you just go through lava with impunity. Okay, so there's that, and then we need this one. Copper. And iron. Make sure everything's powered up. Adult landfill. <laughs> uh, also, prototype trousers, you were asking earlier, are the new robot, new robots better? I have noticed them being better. Um, 
I don't feel like I've quite been in enough situations to fully judge how much better they are, but they certainly, they certainly seem better. Right, get a few more lasers there. Bring up more green chips, which can come along these green chips and continue to supplement so that we have plenty for all the things we're crafting. No news is good news. Yeah, exactly. Not noticing is a good is a good thing. I agree. Okay, so that should be enough blue circuits now to keep those running. And now I think I'm comfortable doing module twos. Um, using the same red circuits. I might have two for each type of module two. Because what are the rates again? That's a 15 second, that's a 30 second. So I actually need two of these rather than two of the other ones. Even with 50% prod, it still isn't enough. We'll do that. Oh no, the lava! Lava's gonna mess me up. Um, I think one of each. Oh. And I forgot, there's a whole nother module type. <sighs> Quality modules. Oh, and we are out of runway here. Um, okay, well, we'll do this, this. Unfortunately, we're gonna have to do the thing again. I need to make this more my standard, I think. Productivity module one. Copy that over there. We shift over to the efficiencies. That one. We shift over to speeds. That one, and then quality. All right. Yeah, Matt, I, uh, regarding this sending the iron down to the planet, we set that up on Nowvis 2 at one point. It did feel like it wasn't quite enough to matter uh, compared to the amount of science you can already just, or iron you can already just make uh, the normal way. But, you know, it's, there's something about the infinite free resource thing that, that some people really like, you know, rolling the dice on, which is fun. Um, so that's certainly... Now, for tier twos, should I do quality? Or should I wait until the threes? I think, I think of the ones I'm doing threes of, I should wait. So for prod and quality though, we should do quality modules. Boom, boom. And then, and then we're going to need a requester chest for the blues. Like that. Okay. We'll go to like four. Because with uncommons and rares, that'll be a hundred. So maybe, maybe I should do five slots even. 
Um, oh, right, right, right. We need to request the actual thing as well. So quality ones. I think 20 is all right. Odd ones, 20. Double check the circuit conditions. Mm, good point, good point. Copy pasted that without really thinking about it. Probably double check all of them to be honest. Like, why is this one not running? Because I have another one, right? Uh, good, good, good. Okay. Alright, there we go. Quality twos are running, P twos are running, and then we need S twos and E twos. It's nice that you can just like click that real quick and then unclick it and it'll have done what you need to get done. All right. So now we're making tier two of all the modules and we can set up a recycling loop to get the Q3s. Pretty nice. What's up, Major? I'm doing well. I hope you are, too. Well, this has been a much bigger build than kind of we expected. Um, are all of these running constantly? It looks like they're stopping. Is that just the, the animation, though? Or are they actually stopping? To this, it does not seem like it's stopping. I think the animation just has a moment where it stops. That's actually unhelpful. Yeah, I see it. If you're watching closely, you'll see a moment where it just naturally stops and keeps moving. But that makes it look like the machines are actually stopping. Which is interesting. Um, I know there's a little green light on the bottom, but that's kind of hard to see. I need bottleneck light. <laughs> this is an unmodded playthrough, but once we're back to doing modded playthroughs, we will certainly be using bottleneck. Uh, so this playthrough is Vulcanist centered? Uh, not the playthrough, but uh, today's episode for sure. Today's episode for sure is Vulcanist centered, because that's where we're at. Um, yeah, I figured this would use up all our red circuits. I need more. But that's a prime spot to switch all these beacons to uh, speed twos. So right now these are at 1.35 each. So when I switch to speed twos in all of these, we get 1.61. That's a good. That's a good boost. And then I can switch these ones on the bottom. let the bots handle that and eventually we'll switch to speed threes get all that pasted and I'll spend all my circuits for a minute also we haven't checked in a while how's all our tungsten doing we're down to 90,000 uh, how do we pin And pin that. See, okay, here's the problem. I don't want all my pinned stuff to be right here. So, Yarm, I, I think I misunderstood how pinning exactly worked. Yarm is still very necessary, in my opinion. The mod, Yarm, yet another resource monitor. Because what it does is so much handier. Like, this is really annoying. If you want 10 resource patches being tracked, it's just going to fill up your entire side over here. And I don't want that competing with my useful pins, like my actual space stations and whatnot. Um, 
I think pins need to have categories that you can expand and minimize, because otherwise they're just kind of annoying. So, yeah. Anywho, I wanted to look at our production of foundries and stuff. It does look like we got to 50 uncommon foundries. We are not yet at 50 drills. That's because <laughs> electric engine units are still struggling. Um, so uncommon plus foundries, I think we can check off the list. But we need to add a tag for more electric engines. And now turbo belt production, I think we can start on. So that'll be in the next episode. For those of you here live, stick around. We're not going anywhere, but for you future YouTubians, we are going to call it an episode here. So as always, thank you guys for watching. Let me know what you think down in the comments, and I'll see you in the next episode.